Hi, and welcome to this Hints and Tips video for counseling. This video will show you how to view invoice detail with two new features that will be of great help to people who do very detailed invoice reviews and to invoice auditors. Clients told us they wanted to look at the amount of time and dollars they were being billed for selected tasks that are identified within invoices. The new features added in our recent 6.0 and 6.1 releases are subtotals and invoice line item bookmarks. Let me show you what these features look like. So I've logged into Counseling and I might want to visit a recent matter that I had opened before. And this is the Adam Harris matter and I'm going to take a look at the invoices on this matter where I have six invoices. I might want to look at them all using our combined invoice view feature. So here I can now scroll down to the specific details and expand out all the charges on those invoices uh, to take a look by invoice what the charges were and you see now on the top line we're showing the units build as well as the dollar amount build so in this example uh, across all of these charges you know I'm curious I might want to take a look at the number of times I have had a description that contained the word status so here if I type status show me any charges that contain that word and I see that I've had seven thousand six hundred forty eight dollars worth of charges and now within each invoice where those charges occurred you'll see in our rule set we flagged status related work so now I might want to take a deeper look and I might want to group a different way you know I'm curious about how much time each particular timekeeper has billed me for charges related to status. So now I can see the number of hours billed as well as the dollar amount billed and I see that if I want to take a closer look at Daniel Smythe uh, one can simply expand out the invoice details for him and take a, take a look at the particular charges. Now some of these, you might, you, we have a new icon here and this is called bookmarks. So if I want to take a more focused view on just let's say those three items and now filter again by bookmarked. I can now just focus on these th three items. I can now do actions like adjust the charges or add a charge note that a subsequent reviewer could see. So this helps you focus on the particular line items of interest to you. Hope this was helpful and for more in-depth learning opportunities please visit LexisNexis University.